Alright guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the 54th episode of the Team Sunweb Korea mode. In today's episode we are going to do the entire tour, uh, well, sorry, the entire Dauphiné Libéré. Um, so yeah, the lineup we're bringing is a good one, it's a very good one. Tom Dumoulin here to prepare for the Tour de France, Michael Matthews, Steve Benut, Zoran Kraft Anderson, Wilco Kalderman and Mike Tunison. Uh, only 7 riders? Wait. Wait a minute, why is there only 7 riders? Because it's a 7 riders only race, love that. Alright, good, Saint Jean de Maurienne for a prologue, let's go. Alright, first rider on the way, make to listen for us. Um, I don't really know how to uh, to manage this time trial, so we'll go with uh, 81 uh, to begin with. He's got 76 time trial, uh, sorry, prologue today. Um, we're on a slight false flat, uh, which could explain why he's losing a bit more yellow than expected. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to recover that in the second half of the time trial uh, as we approach the final kilometer already. Uh, I don't think that's accurate. Actually, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, but we've done the final uh, descent here, sprinting towards the line. Mike Tunison in Saint Jean Morien. It's going to be second, five seconds behind Garen Thomas. All right, Mike Tunison on the way. Oh, we're Miles Scottson. Miles Scottson has overtaken Garen Thomas in Saint Jean Morien to uh, take first place and uh, that's big that's big because it's I mean Garen Thomas if you haven't seen the previous episode the final episode of the Giro really really do watch it uh, because it went it went mad uh, it, it truly did but um, Garen probably out of form um, for the past week or so now uh, and the fact that he's being overtaken by Miles Scottson is a uh, uh, I mean it's just bad for him. Michael Matthews across the line, I need to use more energy uh, in the first part of the time trial, but we're going to take first place right now. He's probably the favourite today. Zoran Kraft Anderson going for his prologue uh, in Saint-Jean de Maurienne, 83 prologue today for the Dane, um, who didn't have as much success as he, as he did last season, uh, but still a very solid season for Zoran, uh, Milano San Remo obviously, the uh, K11 Great Ocean Road Race, I'm pretty sure the Amstel has been won by him as well. Uh, a podium on the flesh well He's had a solid year, um, but um, let's hope that uh, the second half proves to be uh, even better for Zoran as he approaches the final kilometer. We're going to sprint now towards the line. Zoran Kafanderson or Michael Matthews is going to take the lead, and it's Zoran for five seconds. Uh, five seconds quicker than Michael. He's our final rider to go today. Tom Dumoulin, um, he's got a very good stat today in the prologue 82. Uh, which I think is one under uh, Zoran Kafanderson. Vincenzo Nibali taking second position in Saint Jean de Maurienne, two seconds behind Zoran. Uh, the leaders are finally um, have finally started their, their efforts. Sorry, we've got Chris Froome I think just uh, up the road there. In indeed we do. Uh, all right, let's let's increase the rhythm with Tom Dumoulin to um, prepare him uh, and have him in the better in the best con possible conditions. Sorry, as he crosses the line. Uh, Chris Froome is nowhere to be seen, he's 20th actually. Dumoulin across the line, first place, same time as Zoran Kraft Anderson, unless Mathieu van der Poel takes first place. Zoran Kraft Anderson will win this time trial ahead of Tom Dumoulin and Vincenzo Nibali, and uh, he does not win it. So let me just, let me just make sure that uh, my facts are correct. Oh, wait, no, for one second, for, for one second, Tom Dumoulin wins this uh, inaugural prologue of the Dauphiné. Uh, Kraft Anderson second. Anybody sad? Alright, well, that's a decent top 5. We've got Michael Matthews in 5th as well. Uh, Garen Thomas is 11 seconds behind. I'm just checking the GC leaders. Uh, Evenepoel? No, Evenepoel isn't quite uh, there yet. Chris Froome, 15 seconds behind. Uh, any sign of like a Miguel Angel Lopez? 11th! 11th time for uh, Miguel Angel Lopez. He's done well uh, to finish only 11 seconds behind Dimoulin. Sebastian Conegoy, the recent uh, white jersey of the, uh, of the Giro, finishes, his, finishes here as well. Um, anyone else like a French leader? Oh, Steven Kovac losing 21 seconds. Uh, okay, that's already that's already like a decent gap. Uh, knowing I'm gonna guess this is a time trial. Yes. All right. Next up, uh, Albertville Saint Pierre de Chartreuse. It's uh, a hilly finish. Well, actually, no, it's a, it's a it's a hill finish. Um, so let's try to uh, increase our lead. And we're on the way. Uh, for this stage between Albertville and Saint Pierre de Chartreuse, 130 kilometers. Today for the riders, uh, Dumoulin on zero, which isn't ideal. 
but I guess it could be worse. Uh, I don't want him to be uh, like Travis peak too early in the season uh, with, with the Tour de France in a month now. We've got Michael Matthews who's about to uh, reach the front of the peloton. Same can be said for Mark Hershey who's a bit behind. Uh, already some attacks. The first breakaway of this uh, Dauphiné, we've got Edouard de Affenay, uh, the uh, I think runner up of the European uh, Championships in time trial, or maybe third place, I can't remember. Evaldasis Kevisius, uh, ninth of uh, uh, Paris-Roubaix. Michael Gogol, uh, Ryu for Arke Samzek. Martin Kaiser for uh, De Kenank. Seb Van Mark for EF. But the peloton uh, isn't keen on letting uh, these breakaway. Uh, I mean, just, yeah. They're not keen on having this breakaway go. Uh, another attacker by Just Kaiser, Affine. Uh, I'm not gonna pace, I don't really care about these three guys. Um, I guess I'll care later in the stage, but not now. Right, there's 13 kilometers left, we're about to give water uh, to our train. We're pacing the peloton, Mark Hershey, Zoran Carfanderson, Kelderman Benut, and Tom Dumoulin. Um, two kilometers ahead, uh, sorry, before the uh, summit of Saint Pierre de Chartreuse. No, before the, the start, sorry, of Saint Pierre de Chartreuse, there's 76 riders left in uh, the main group. Um, some uh, some echelons have been made. There is one group behind in which we find Mike Tunison, uh, but he's the only rider in our team and therefore not exactly important. But we've started this climb. Um, the aim is simple. We're going to have a high rhythm with Marc Hershey uh, at least until the end of the descent here. Uh, and I do mean descent, right? I'm not dumb. Uh, <laughs> no, there you go. Is the, the the slight descent Juan Sebastian Molano as well trying to pace for UAE? Uh, he's been doing a very very good job uh, for his team ever since K1. Uh, as soon as there was a hill, uh, he would pace. Uh, but Mark Hershey is doing great. Mark Hershey is doing exactly what I wanted him to do, uh, which is perfect. We'll then uh, move to uh, Zoran Carfanderson in uh, a few hundred meters here. There you go. With Zoran. Uh, the uh, current second place of the GC is going to pace. Uh, who's not will? Jan Standard. Okay, interesting. Uh, maybe if I can pace a bit harder. Uh, I don't know. Garen Thomas has made a move on the right. Good. 5k to go. Uh, we're going to use the gel with Zoran Carfanderson as we've approached the uh, toughest part of this climb. Um, average, uh, sorry, max gradient of, uh, of I don't know. It's not written. And um, we're now going to move to Wilco Calderman, I guess. Wilco Kellerman making uh, his effort now. Six riders left. What? What happened? Oh, there's been a gap. There's been a gap. Six riders left. Uh, only six riders left. P.O. will make that five now. Oh, interesting. Who's that? Is that? It's, it's Garen Thomas. It's not even Chris Froome. Okay, interesting. I would I would have expected someone like Fr like Froome, uh, following like the fact that Garen Thomas dropped during the Giro, but why not? Tish Benut is now going to pace for Tom Dumoulin. And Tom Dumoulin is going to start his sprint. Uh, it's going to be me versus Garen Thomas. Uh, I probably have launched my sprint a bit too early, which means that Garen Thomas will be able to out sprint me in the latter part. It, uh, in the latter part, sorry, of the sprint. There you go. And the win today for Mr. Garen Thomas in Saint Pierre de Chartreuse. I've played badly. Um, he's going to work, get four seconds only. Four seconds for Garen Thomas. Dumoulin second. Tishbenut third. Chris Froome uh, is going to fight for uh, fourth position. Kelderman Kraft Anderson finish in this group. Uh, okay, I guess it's not too bad. We've we've done we've uh, limited the damage, and that's good. I mean we finished second as well, so it's not it's more than doing like damage limitation. Right, we're establishing the uh, hierarchy a bit already. There's a, there's more than a minute uh, with nearly every uh, favorite in this tour except from uh, Nibali and, and Thomas. So no. I mean, there's not really a minute on everyone. Um, the big loser today, Miguel Angel Lopez, uh, and if you want, Richie Port, but uh, I don't really con consider him, sorry, as a, a, an, uh, an opponent. Uh, but Tom Dumoulin takes um, second place, which means that we're now seven seconds ahead of Garen Thomas, 53 ahead of Chris Froome, who's currently in third place. Tilly Benut is fifth, Don Carfanderson sixth, sixth, Kellerman ninth. Uh, next up, Voir en Lyon is going to be a long ass sprint, so uh, let's wait for it. It's raining! In Voiron, uh, as we head for uh, 177 kilometers towards the City of Lights, um, or Lyon, if you prefer, I think it is, yeah it is, um, the, the town in which we find uh, the almighty Olympic Lyonnais, that's, uh, that's La Siesque Remed on FIFA, if, uh, if you are around, um, then I guess you're an OG, and thanks. Um, 
but uh, we've already bring, uh, brought up uh, some of our riders at the front. We'll definitely sprint for Michael Matthews today. Now, if I remember, there is a hill. There is indeed a, a hill towards the end. Um, so someone like Michael Matthews or Zoran Carfanderson could really uh, do well today. At least I do think so. Uh, it's a, a finish suited for a, a sprinter that can, uh, I mean, be good on hills. And, and that's literally the definition of Michael Matthews or Zoran Carfanderson. Uh, so... Um, yeah, wait, uh, in, wait and see in 160 kilometers approximately, as there are some attacks, Olivier Legac, Lukas Postelbaga, uh, something busy get off, Guo, Dorian Godon, Alexis Goujar, and Evaldas Siskevicius. Alright, there's about 10 kilometers left. Uh, we've been struggling to, uh, to have a, a train going on, uh, but we finally uh, should have one if Michael Matthews decides to uh, stay in the will of Mike Tunison, which uh, would be ideal. Uh, there is still a, uh, a breakaway, we've got Lukas Pustelberger uh, and uh, his former teammate, well former teammate, no, former uh, mates of the break. Um, Alright, no breakaway, 7k to go, where's Michael Matthews? Nowhere, nowhere he should be, which is in the wheel of Mike Hershey. Um, come on. Uh, 5.7 km to go. I need to be smart for a second here. Uh, Okay, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, yeah, um, Benut and Kellerman are going to uh, pace. Well, pace, no, they're going to stay at the front of the peloton, or at least not get dropped. Um, there we go, come on, Zoran Kafanderson, Mike Tunison, Michael Matthews, Tom Dumoulin. I think that's a, a decent enough train, uh, especially if Tom Dumoulin gets blocked. I'm going to guess Direct Energy are here to sprint with uh, Mr. Mathieu van der Poel. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, if he was winning. Uh, he's actually in the wheel of Michael Matthews, so that's all good. Um, Alright, there goes Michael Matthews. Van der Poel, Alexander Kristoff, or Michael Matthews. And it's going to be an easy win for the world champion today. Wow. Okay, Michael Matthews ahead of Alexander Kristoff. Matthew Van der Poel, uh, Mike Tennyson, Garen Thomas, Darrell MP, Wout Wout Wippert. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry, Wouter? Wouter Wippert? Wouter Wippert? I don't know, Patrick Conrad and Zorn Carfanderson. But what a win for Michael Matthews. Impressive. Impressive. Alright, and here's our first rider to leave uh, Grenoble for uh, 35 kilometers today. It is... Uh, it, it's not a, an easy time travel. It's... Uh, Quite similar to the one in Modan, if you remember PCM 2011, um, I think it's a similar parkour if I'm correct. Uh, but yeah, Mike is not neither the best time trialist nor the best climber, so it's going to be interesting to see how he competes. Um, but then we'll have Mark Hershey leaving in 3 position and then yesterday's winner, winner sorry, Michael Matthews in 9. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Mike Tennyson, I really am. Uh, in the lead currently is Ben Gastauer from uh, AG2R La Mondiale, two seconds ahead of Jocelyn Ver. Oh, actually, no, two seconds ahead of Luke Rowe, um, who takes second position. Maybe that means uh, you don't necessarily need to, need to be a great climber to be uh, able to make a good time. But then again, uh, Ben Gastauer ain't the best. Um, we'll see uh, Mark Hirsch, he's, he's a decent climber, he's a very good uh, rider in the hills. And he's not that bad in time trial. Right, yes, there's winner Michael Matthews about to leave. Uh, it's weird to see him without the uh, rainbow stripes jersey. Uh, again, not the best climber, uh, decent time trialist. So we'll have to see. Maybe the hilly stats, uh, the hill stats, sorry, uh, can uh, kind of counterbalance the uh, mountain one. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. In the first intermediate, though, Mike Tennyson is 40 seconds behind Alexis Goujar. Um, Okay, but um, I'm usually better on the second part of the time trials, so we'll have to see. Okay, I feel like Mike Tunison is pacing way too much. I feel like this is too much for him. Uh, so I'm going to lower the rhythm of both Mark Hershey and Michael Matthews. Um, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it just <laughs> it just doesn't feel right for Mike Tunison. Um, final few uh, kilometers of mountain for him, um, and then he'll start the descent towards the Grenoble. We'll see some at the second intermediate, it's probably not going to be great. Um, currently, Julien Simon in the lead, 48-17 for the rider from Cofidis. Magnussen across this line, 204 behind. Yeah, not surprising. Uh, Marc Hershey started the descent, in the descent sorry, in first position in, uh, in Saint-Martin-du-Riage. 
16 seconds quicker than Julien Simon. Uh, the main worry I have now is his uh, stamina is uh, not great. There are only like there's only 3k left. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be extremely tight to see uh, what happens. We're going to lower the rhythm of Michael Matthews just in case. Um, Mark Hirschi has got Jasper Stoyven and Matthias Brandl just uh, just up the road. Alexis Goujar currently in the lead in Grenoble 5904 for the Frenchman from Ajax de la Mondiale. Can Mark Hirschi overtake him? Can the Swissman take a virtual uh, first place in Grenoble? We're gonna see that as he crosses the line. Yes, he can. Seven seconds ahead of Alexis Goujar for Mark Hirschi. Uh, Goujar with a very good uh, second part of the time for he claimed he, he um, caught back 15 seconds on Marc Hershey, but it wasn't enough uh, for the Frenchman to uh, to get first place. We've got Wilco Kellerman leaving in three positions. Michael Matthews is a minute seven behind uh, behind Marc Hershey at the first intermediate. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's take a look now at uh, Wilco. We're gonna go in times two just for the for the time being. Um, there you go, Wilco, not a great day for him, that's kind of sad. Uh, we'll go 74, I reckon, with him. Yeah, we'll go 74. Then we've got Miguel Angel Lopez. Uh, we'll make a, like a rundown of the top 10. Miguel Lopez, then Carlos Alberto Betancourt. Oh, interesting. To be honest, he's very good in some troll, in a prologues on this game. Zoran has mad stats today. Is that plus 3 for him? Plus 4? Plus 3 for uh, Zoran Carfanderson, we're gonna go plus uh, in 75. Because uh, I feel like he deserves it. Michael Matthews has crossed the line in uh, 19th place, 108, behind David Godu, who has a first place. Uh, I'll start the times to uh, as soon as uh, Tom Dumoulin starts his time troll. Um, it's only 7 seconds ahead of this man wearing the green jersey and also leader of the mountain classification, Mr. Garrett Thomas. Tom Dumoulin to leave Grenoble. And he is. On the way, 75 as well for uh, the uh, Dutchman current yellow jersey winner of Lassier's Giro, and uh, this is favorite to win the, the Tour de France. We've got four riders on the road, uh, and I'll update you. Uh, well, you know what? We'll stay with uh, Wilco until he crosses the uh, first intermediate. Jonathan Castroviro, what a time! 46 seconds quicker than Peyo Bilbao. Um, Kellerman, 15, 37 seconds down on Patrick Conrad. But Mark Hershey is now 144 behind. Okay. Right, Zoran is 2 seconds behind, um, behind Castroviero, no, behind Patrick Conrad at the first intermediate. Uh, in the exact same second as Sebastian Carnegoy and uh, Jonathan Castroviero. Tish Benut is behind. Right, next up, the, the, the next uh, important person will be obviously uh, Gary Thomas, but uh, for us, it's going to be Tom Dumoulin. It's fourth at the uh, second intermediate. He's had a, a very solid climb uh, towards um, Saint Martin du Riage. Lucas Hamilton in the lead currently. Next up, we'll have Zoran Graf Anderson um, crossing the line in uh, in the same place. Knowing that uh, this was a mountainy part, I wouldn't be surprised if he had dropped a few seconds on someone like Miguel Angel Lopez, uh, who's currently first. Also, we're going to uh, increase the rhythm of Tom Dumoulin. And oh my! First place for Zoran Graf Anderson, 48 seconds quicker than Miguel Angel Lopez. That is, that's huge. That's huge for Miguel Angel Lopez. So, for Zoran Graf Anderson, sorry. Um, now, let's take a look at Chris Froome, who's uh, easily in the lead uh, after the first intermediate. And by easily, I mean really easily. He's like 16 seconds ahead there. You go 16 seconds quicker than, um, than Dumoulin. Wilco Calamando about to cross the line in uh, in Grenoble. It's going to be shit, not the right thing. It's second time, five seconds behind Lucas Hamilton. Alright, decent. He's done. He's done. He's done well. Um, Zoran is soon going to cross the line. A minute three behind. <laughs> okay, Chris Froome is on a madness. He's on. He's doing a madness. Chris, what? Okay, Tom is keeping up. Tom is keeping up and that's the main thing. Zoran has uh, cracked just before the line. Is it going to be enough for him to take first place? Yes, and he's increased his, his uh, gap over Lopez and Betancourt in the second half. But I'm afraid it's not going to be enough for him to win. When you've got someone like Royce Froome on the road, um, he's better descender than I am as well. That's not good. It's not great. Alright. Uh, Tish Benut crossing the line. Uh, not expecting anything big. From uh, the Belgian, a uh, top 10 would be great, but uh, it's ninth place, so it, it's not going to be a top 10. Nibali takes second place, Chris Froome takes first, How, what a surprise, 
116 quicker than Anderson, 133 ahead of Nibali. The gaps are already so, so huge. Right. They're genuinely so huge. Um, I'm just going to lower this rhythm just in case. Uh, Garen Thomas takes second place. And Tom Dumoulin across the line, it's not going to be a uh, first place. 11 seconds behind, Garant, uh, behind Chris Froome. We, we, I mean, seeing how impressive Chris has been today, I'd say, I'd say we've done very well. I'd say we've done more than very well, actually. Uh, because we're now 42 seconds ahead of Froome, 103 beyond, uh, ahead of Garant Thomas, 213 ahead of Zorn, 219 ahead of Nibali. Uh, we just have to worry about the Inos guys, as, as always, I guess, now. Um, points wise, sorry, mountain wise, it's still Garen Thomas. Points wise, it's still me. Uh, best run rider is Lucas Hamilton. I'm guessing that has that has changed. I don't know. Uh, and some web is still a bit sticky. Lamotte Servolex Macon 176 kilometers today um, for a very flat stage. None of my riders are in a good shape, uh, but hopefully it won't prevent Michael Matthews from uh, from being the winner um, in a, in Macon. At least I hope so. Already in attack, Michael Goggle, uh, we're not going to do anything today. Um, just wait for the sprints as we are always do on sprint stages. And hope for the best. Uh, there's been a crash in the peloton including Steven Kroivike. Um But the thing is, the, there is a lot of win. Like, we're talking 45 to uh, 50 at times. So I've, I've tried to like pace. I just want to see what happens. Uh, to see if there's like any chance we could make some echelons. Um, for now, it doesn't look like we're about to, uh, but you never know. Let's uh, let's go keep going for a few kilometers and uh, and advise at that point. All right, there is a situation. There's only 12 riders. There is only 12 ri 12 riders left. Um, there's a peloton 50 seconds behind. Then there's another peloton uh, 30 seconds behind this group. Okay, now they've merged. So we're, there's a minute. There is one minute between uh, between this group. Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one thing. Uh, I'm going to relay with the two, with them three, uh, just to make sure. Uh, and we're gonna stay behind with Michael Matthews and Tom Dumoulin. Uh, I think that's gonna be a wise situation, a wiser situation. Uh, so that I just don't use all my riders at once. Uh, but let's see if it works out. If it does, then this is a madness of a stage in which we've pulled out a crazy strategy. Alright, 26k to go, and everyone is back in the peloton, so we're going to stop pacing. Um, no, actually, wait. I mean, everyone's back, but I uh, that, that I can't pace. I, I physically can't pace anymore. Uh, why is Jasper Stoven attacking? Stop it. Just stop it. Because I can't follow. Michael Matthews will not be able to follow. Alright, 5k to go. <laughs> we just have two riders for the sprint. Uh, that's kind of sad. But uh, it's... It's what we need to do, I guess. Um, Tom Dumoulin is going to uh, start the sprint. Uh, actually, if we could, you know what? If we could get the uh, help of Mr. Tom Dumoulin, no, of um, Zone Carfanson, that'd be absolutely ideal. All right, Zoran. 2.7k to go. Zoran Carfanson starting the sprint. Uh, Michael Matthews directly in the wheel. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to to uh, keep up with. Uh, well, I mean, uh, for, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep up for two kilometers. Uh, so uh, let's have Tom Dumoulin start the sprint with Michael in the wheel. Uh, and now let's start the sprint with Michael. Can we do something? Mm, yes, yes, we're going to come back. We're going to come back. Not enough though. Second place for Matthews yet again. Christophe wins ahead of Matthews, Philips and Modolo, Whippet, Van der Poel, Gilbert, Os Dumoulin, Petit. Uh, pacing the entire day really, really took a toll on uh, some of our guys. I like, really. Uh, well, that's quite sad, but why not? Okay, let's go. Uh, 195 kilometers today. Villars les Dombes, Léger. Uh, it is a mountain finish. Uh, it's considered a hill, uh, but the climb towards Léger is a genuine mountain. Uh, I, my legs uh, are able to uh, to guarantee that. Um, We'll try to, f I mean, get a win for once. I've won twice. It's two times. No. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did I win twice? Yeah, I won twice. Uh, including a time troll. So it's not exactly a win. Uh, but I've been second every time. So if we could change that to first place, I'd happily take it. 
Alright, 45k to go, I think it's time to do uh, a sit rev because the, the race has been very uh, high paced during uh, the in, I mean the, during its entirety. Uh, we've got two guys left in the breakaway, David La Cruz and Lilian Calmejan. Dorian Godon, uh, the current Polka Dodge jersey, was, um, was with them for, uh, for quite a while but he's been now uh, brought back in the uh, main group and soon to get dropped. Also, uh, we're now facing 80 because there's only 30 riders in the peloton. Uh, due to, a, as I said, uh, a very high rhythm uh, from both Astana and um, and Lotto, uh, sorry, Jumbo, which is surprising, knowing that I mean Kovac is literally on his own, on his own, and also seven minutes down or something, actually twelve. So yeah, I don't know why, but why not? Uh, Thirty-five guys left, two guys in the break, two thirty-nine is their gap. Uh, we're approaching the uh, final climb in roughly. Uh, 20 kilometers, uh, no actually, make that, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah 20, 25 kilometers uh, until uh, the uh, the start of the climb towards Léger. And here we are, just a kilometer away from the bottom of Léger, 12k to go, uh, Wilco Kaleman has used uh, already some uh, some energy, uh, trying to... Uh, I mean to stay where he is um, and to uh, have Michael, uh, sorry not Michael, Tom, in uh, a high posi position uh, in this peloton. We've got Zoran as well here in case we need uh, we need to help with the Dane. Uh, but let's go for this final climb uh, of the stage. 30 seconds is the lead for Lidion Kalmejan, a lead that is about to uh, be uh, reduced to, uh, to ashes in, uh, I mean, just the matter of like a kilometer or so. Who's pacing? It's Eddie Dunbar currently taking uh, his responsibilities at the uh, front of the peloton. Michael Matthews is still here with Zoran Kraft Anderson in the last place of this group. You love to uh, to see it. Why is everyone pacing this much? This much, sorry. Can we not go like with a, a gentle 84? Is that too much to ask? Right, 4k to go. 4k to go. We still have. Uh, our three men train Michael Matthews just got dropped, uh, which I mean it's not surprising. He he's been pacing since K1, uh, well since the bottom of the climb to uh, maintain Zoran in a, a decent position. Why is Chris Froome pacing for Garen Thomas? That is a uh, one of the many mysteries around Team Ineos, knowing that Froome is in a better position in the GC, but why not? Um, Tish Benut increased his rhythm very highly. To make sure uh, that we do, that we don't get dropped via any attack from uh, the team Ineos, uh, and he's done that brilliantly because we're about to probably uh, grab a win for once. Let's uh, follow Gary Thomas in this uh, final few meters. Uh, I didn't realize the the line was that close, uh, and it's gonna be a win for Gary Thomas. I hate Ineos so much. It's I hate them. They've won again ahead of Tom Dumoulin, Conrad, Martin, Evenepoel. Everyone's there. Uh, Wait, does that mean that only Ineos and I have been able to win? Uh, stage 1, us. Stage 2, them. Stage 3, us. Then... Oh, wait, no. If Apple won, won. Yeah. If Apple won, won. Good. So... We've got two wins and four second places. Great. Brilliant. Right, and uh, with that, it means that Garen Thomas is the only rider um, winning, or well, gaining time on myself yet again. Uh, he overtakes Chris Froome. They're having a massive battle for second place. Like, they just don't care about first, because when Chris Froome is ahead of, of Thomas in the GC, he paces for Thomas, and when Thomas is ahead, he paces for Froome. So yeah, I've got many questions as to the, 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 the hierarchy and why they're dumb uh, but with that we're still a minute ahead uh, I'd love to get more wins with Tom though uh, and hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, in uh, Le Colle d'Alvar which is uh, the next stage on this day. Alright, we're on the way for uh, this stage between uh, um, Léger and Le Colle d'Alvar. I'm expecting to see a lot of good climbers in the break uh, possibly 30-35 riders trying to get the break uh, which we're not going to chase because uh, I don't care um, rhythm will be increasing in the Col du Grand Cucheron, uh, especially towards the end, because the breakaway will have a gap, because, and I'm not going to pace, so Ineos will pace. Uh, a lot of people are going to drop, will attempt, will, uh, sorry, reach the final climb, Dumoulin will win, or finish second, that's actually much more uh, plausible now that I think about it. And uh, yeah, 
that's uh, how the race is gonna go. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, if I mean, if the um, ending could be correct in me winning, uh, but we'll have to see. However, already a lot of attacks. Um, I don't know how many. Maybe not 35. Um, but that's a solid 10, 16, 16, 15, 16, 17. Right. All right, and we're starting uh, the um, what's his name again? Uh, the the Col du Grand Cucheron. Um, as I said, about 35 hours in the break. This 30 gap is three minutes, not four, but the gap could increase in uh, in this. Uh, I mean, the gap could increase. Sorry, if the person didn't pace, uh, or he doesn't pace, which by the looks of it, he's not. So that's great, uh, which gives me a chance to make a breakaway rundown. We've got Michael Gogol. Uh, Ignacio Filozzi, I think, Steven Williams, Richie Port, Carl Frederick Hagen, Martin Kaiser, Dylan Tunes, uh, Pot, or, oh, yeah, I don't know, Clément Champoussin, Steven Kreuvaik, uh, Maxence Moncassin, why is his first name here? That's weird. Loïc Chetou, uh, I think I'm moving Matt, but I can't exactly uh, remember. Steven Kreuvaik, I think I've said his name already. Um, Mark Padden, David Godu, Philippe Gilbert, Sergio Henao, David de la Cruz, Pierre Roland, Julien Vermotte. Uh, Jocelyn Verge, Lilian Calmejan, Anthony Turgis, Martin Kaiser, Horace, uh, Cameron Mayer, Nico Dens, Roman Kroziga, James Whelan, Simon Geschke, Casimiro, and Rudy Mollard. Uh, okay, way too many riders uh, to, uh, for my liking in the break. Uh, some good climbers. I've seen uh, David Godu, if I'm correct, uh, Mark Padden as well. So yeah, some, uh, some riders able to, um, to, do, uh, well, to, to do the mountain in it. Uh, but yeah, let's go. 6k until the summit. Mark, uh, Rui Costa is currently pacing in the peloton. Uh, the gap is uh, stagnating. Is that a word? I think it is. Uh, but the gap is going to be increasing because the Dumoulin is in the front and I'm not going to pace. Uh, so yeah, be, uh, be prepared for a, a gap over 4 minutes very soon. And as expected, uh, it's it's the, the rhythm is increased. The rhythm is increased. Uh, gap is still five minutes though. Five minutes uh, for uh, Richie Port alone uh, the front. He's actually he's, he could make a very nice comeback in the GC if he uh, if he keeps up. We've got Steven Kovac uh, in the descent on his own. Let's hope for him that there's no uh, ice wall. Then Pierre Roland, Simon Geschke, Kroziga, Hagen. No sort of uh, Godu. Mm, disappointing performance for now from David Godu. Uh, but we're about to uh, reach the summit of the climb, and there we go. We're now in the descent towards uh, towards the uh, Colle d'Alvar. And we have started the Colle d'Alvar. It's Mark Hirschi uh, taking the uh, responsibility of the peloton right now. 23 riders left in this group. Zoran Krapandersen is still here. Uh, I mean, I'm fourth of the GC. There's no way uh, that Zoran keeps uh, this position. Following uh, this stage, but a top 10 could be uh, could be great for Zoran, although he might lose it tomorrow. Uh, so uh, it's, it's not great, but um, we'll, we'll do our best. Meanwhile, uh, is it still Richie Port? No, it's Lilian Calmejan, Roman Kroziga, Richie Port, and Clément Champoussin. Oh, interesting. Uh, where's Kroivak? Oh, mad. Kroivak is it? Kroivak and Good, you completely exploded. Mad. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Um, Okay, I truly didn't. 8k to go, Mark Hirschi pacing 80 uh, in this um, Colle del Var 10 kilometers, sorry, 11 kilometers with an average gradient of 8 and a max gradient I'd like to think of 11, uh, maybe 12. Uh, yeah, 12, 12, 12, 12, my bad. Um, but we're going to uh, utilize um, Mark Hirschi as much as we can until the. Um, well, until he dies uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll either. Pace with Wilco, uh, or wait, Zoran, mate, why are you dropped? Zoran, you f prick. Uh, either I'm waiting for, I don't know, like an attack of Vincenzo Nibale. Uh, I know that could happen. That could happen. Sorry, that's typically uh, his uh, his style of climb. Um, but uh, for now, we'll still uh, keep up this rhythm. Maybe an attack from Chris Froome or Gary Thomas or anyone. That's not in a that, that it could be fighting for the GC. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, some uh, s some insight on uh, the uh, the tactic from Ineos. Uh Oh, block! Yeah, I mean, using the breakaway to block me is I'd, I'd like to think a, a decent tactic. Where Tom, Tom is here? 
Uh, so he hasn't been co op that's great. Zorun, keeping up in the climb, great. Uh, Tij Benut, gonna have to do better than that. Attack from Garen Thomas. Attack from Garen Thomas, and I can't let that slide. Uh, I, I mean, I physically cannot let, I can't do that. Um, so there goes Tom Dumoulin. Tij Benut has uh, used a lot of energy to, uh, to do that, and uh, he is now gone. Uh, so that's great. Where's uh, Zorun? Zorun is there, that's great. Okay, let's pace to try and come back on Garen Thomas. Uh, I'm, the thing is, I'm scared. If I attack, I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to. Um, I mean, I'm scared that he does a second attack and then drops me. Chris Room in my wheel. Uh, not anymore. Not Chris Room in my wheel. There you go. It's going to be Garen Thomas or Tom Dumoulin for the win today. It looks like it's uh, most likely going to be uh, the, uh, the British, although we are coming back quickly on Garen Thomas. We're now in the wheel and we've overtaken him. Can he sprint until the line? No, he cannot. He cannot. And we are going to finally beat Garen Thomas on this Dauphiné Libéré de win today for Tom Dumoulin. Uh, the uh, Collet d'Alvar ahead of Garen Thomas. Vincent Sonibali, Chris Froome, Patrick Conrad, uh, who's having a superb, um, a superb um, Dauphiné with a uh, Crovac being dead. Miguel Angel Lopez is there. Tish Benut uh, is about to catch 8th position, I'd like to think. Uh, Kellerman, you're going to finish ahead of David de la Cruz, mate. Like, allow it. Uh, yeah, Tish Benut 7th, Higuita 8th, uh, Konigoy 10th, no 9th, and Kellerman 10th, that's good. Um, has there been a pull across the line? No, there he is. With Zoran Carpanderson. Solid drop from, uh, from Zoran today. Damage limitation and that, that's going to be 13th place as well for him. No, 14th, my bad. Uh, okay, we've won the stage for once. And we finally done it. We've finally broken the curse of second place on this Dauphiné uh, by beating Garen Thomas in the uh, Collet d'Alvar 17 seconds ahead of the uh, Britain uh, rider. Of the British rider, sorry. Uh, Nibali said, Chris Froome fourth. Uh, Patrick Conrad, as I said, very nice climb from him. Sergei Guita brings, up, uh, brings home eighth place. Koenigo in ninth. Wilco Kalaman brings, uh, oh, sorry, rounds up the top ten. GC wise. Uh, winner 120 ahead of Garen Thomas, 257 uh, ahead of Chris Froome, 4, 14, then 7, 13, 7, 16, 8, 0, 5, 8, 57, 9, 55, and 10, 19 on 10th place, Carlos Betancourt. The gaps are quite mad for Dauphiné Libéré in my opinion, uh, but why not? Uh, anyone retiring today? Uh, I think Evaldas Siskevicius, yep, and Joe Matias. Okay, well, on to the next one. Final stage of this Dauphiné, uh, Ponchara la Toussuire. Alright, final stage of this Dauphiné Libéré um, between Ponchara and Latoussuire, 114 kilometers to do. Uh, we've got Tom Dumoulin already at the front of the peloton as he's the yellow jersey. Um, I'd love to get back to back wins. Don't know if it's going to be a, a possibility today, but uh, we, uh, we for sure will try our best. Uh, we're first in the point classification. I don't know about the mountain. Uh, we're second behind Garen Thomas, tied with uh, Lilian Kalmojan. Okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but Lino Kamajan, of course, is going to attack that. Uh, that's for sure. How many points is there there? Fifteen. Uh, on the line, ten. Okay, so Kamajan, if, if sorry, if Kamajan is first at the uh, Croix de Fer, he will be uh, the uh, winner of the uh, mountain classification. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, we are still in, uh, well, reaching the uh, Col de la Croix de Fer, but uh, it is obviously the uh, premise of, uh, sorry, no, the uh, Col de la Croix de Fer is uh, a consecutive climb, starting with the uh, Col du Glandon, which is uh, why uh, you see it on the top right. Uh, there's only two riders left uh, in uh, the uh, main group, Pierre Roland and um, Richie Port. The the rhythm has been just mad. There's only 23 riders left. Tiv Benut is starting to crack. Uh, I can't have you do that, Chief. I'm afraid uh, that is not something I can let you do. Uh, so you're gonna have to come back. Uh, and he does 50, sorry, five kilometers to go until the summit. Lilian Kalmajan isn't uh, a part of the main group anymore, uh, of the breakaway, or actually of the main group. So that's uh, good on both sides uh, for our quest, maybe to uh, get the uh, mountain classification. Uh, okay. How is, how, how is Eddie Dunbar still here? I mean, I guess the same reason that Michael Matthews, sorry, that Zon Carpenterson is still here, but still. That's unfair. Um, 
Let's attack. Just, wait, I'm just gonna try something. What happens if I attack with some journal? Because I'm not gonna be able to follow with any of my riders, that's for sure. N nor will I be able to pace. But can some of these guys pace? Lucas Hamilton can't for sure. Uh, did anybody just crack? Oh, he didn't. Is anybody going to relay me? Oh, he is. Oh. Oh, and my team dropped. Everyone can follow. Everyone can follow. That is surprising. That's surprising. I expected I expected everyone here to get dropped. Hmm. Was that the best team? I was. Hmm. Nah, shit. I may have lost the uh, team classification by doing that. Uh, Geraint Thomas is attacked. That group can't follow. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let me just attack here to get the mountain points. Nice. Alright, we're in the descent. Nibali has everything to gain if he paces. He can get third place. And he's not going to get third place by doing anything else than pacing here. Yeah. Okay, well, we've start we are starting the climb towards La Toussuire. Uh, with 23 riders in the main group, um, and there's my teammates for once. Uh, we do have some teammates, however, they are struggling. That is, uh, that is the 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 the, re the 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 harsh reality of the of the fact uh, we are struggling. Tish Benut is not exactly uh, as brilliant as he was yesterday. Wilco can't. Uh, well, I mean, I can't say this is the, the same for Wilco. He's struggling as well. Um, Zoran has managed to give water to everyone, but by doing that, he's completely exploded uh, his tank uh, and also he had to come back from a 4 minute deficit uh, in, um, in the descent of uh, the Col de la Croix de Fer, so uh, I'm not uh, looking forward to Zoran's results and I think he's going to be yeeted out of the top 10. Tish Benut might be doing the exact same thing, uh, Wilco probably is going to lose position, Marc Archie might gain some. Uh, but hopefully, the main man, Tom Dumoulin, doesn't lose anything. Uh, if anything, he wins. Attack from Vincenzo Nibali on the left-hand side of the road, followed by Betancourt, Hamilton, Lopez, and Dan Martin. Uh, I'm following very early, actually. I thought I thought it would be like 5k to go. Still 8. Uh -huh. Zoran is no more. Tij Benut is soon to be no more. Uh, the Ineos team is pacing. Tom Dumoulin has made a, a, a massive comeback on the right hand side of the road. Uh, is that an attack? No, okay, it's just an acceleration. That's an attack though from Vincenzo Nibeli. A second attack from uh, the uh, Shark of Messina. Wilco Kelderman is still the one taking, uh, well, pacing. There goes Garen Thomas. I cannot let that slide, uh, and I physically can't do that. Let's have Wilco trying to chase the. Uh, the winner of uh, the 2019 Tour de France, and uh, he's done that brilliantly. He's done that brilliantly, and Marc Hirschi has also done his job brilliantly, which leads to an attack from Tom Dumoulin. There goes Tom Dumoulin, attacking, trying to catch Vincenzo Nibali. And for the second time today, we are going to have a breakaway with Dumoulin and Vincenzo Nibali. Following them is Garin Thomas, Chris Froome, and Miguel Angel Lopez. Um, okay, we're relaying with uh, Vincenzo. We're relaying. There is some collaboration, at least some sort of co of uh, cooperation. Uh, if uh, if you prefer, we're going to lower our rhythm, uh, and I'm not going to pace anymore because I don't have to. All right, let's see uh, what happens next. We've got a 40 second lead over Miguel Angel Lopez, who's dying. Uh, then Kanegoy, Conrad, Hamilton, Higuita, Roland, Marc Hirschi. Interesting. Um, okay. I'm very, uh, like, um, on edge. I'm trying to see uh, exactly what's going to happen. We're going to use our gel. There's the first move from Christopher Froome. Garin Thomas in the wheel. Tom Dumoulin in the wheel as well. Can I hold on to, uh, to this rhythm for another kilometer or so? I don't know. I don't know. There goes the first attack from the Garin Thomas. I didn't know the line was there, but I'm by far the strongest. And I'm going to be able to be in the middle of uh, both Dumoulin and Nibali, sorry, Thomas and Nibali to grab the win. In, uh, in La Toussuire, Chris Froome brings him fourth place. Uh, then this group, then my team. Uh, we've, we've bottled the team classification. 
that's for sure. But at least we're gonna get uh, every other jersey, and uh, that's the main thing. And what a better way to get ready for the Tour de France than a win against your direct competition on this Tour de Suisse, uh, on this Dauphiné, sorry. Dumoulin wins in l'atmosphere, back-to-back wins on mountain stages. Uh, I mean, we, we, we're, we're there, we're ready for the Tour, that's for sure. Uh, 124 ahead of Garin Thomas, 330 ahead of Froome. Uh, there is no rider from our team in the top 10 anymore. Uh, it's kind of sad, Koenigoy finishes in 10th, 14 minutes down the drain. We're the best climber, 46 points, we're the best sprinter, 92 points, we're... Oh, Cedric Guita is the best climber, 105 ahead of Lucas Hamilton. We're still the best team. Mad, wow. We've managed to keep that in the in the GC. Uh, I didn't expect that. Uh, GC was, where are we? We're 11th and 12th with Benut and Zoran. Why not? Why not? Okay. Um, well, that was an interesting Tour de Suisse. Uh, no, I need to stop saying Tour de Suisse, that was an interesting Dauphiné. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please, please do leave a like down below, that would really mean a lot. Uh, also, if you're new around here, then uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you've missed some episodes, then there is a playlist uh, of this career mode. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in two days for the Tour de Suisse. Then uh, for the National Championships. But I've been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, love buster.